Two intersecting circles have a common chord with length 16 feet. Um, so what that means is um, you have these two circles that are intersecting, and where they intersect, like this, you have this chord that's in both circles. And so it's got to be, the endpoints of this chord have to be um, on the two intersection points of these two circles. And then it gives you the radius of the circles, and so it says the radius of the one, the smaller one's going to be 10, and the radius of the bigger one's going to be 17. Now, you might be tempted to draw in this line, which is fine, but it's hard to know a lot about that line because they overlap. What's better is recognizing um, that we're going to look at these radius. And so we know that those two radius are 10 because it's a smaller circle, and then these two radius are 17 um, because it's a larger circle. Now, when you connect up the two radius, uh, it has to turn out to be um, at a right angle uh, with that common chord. And so if it's at a right angle with that common chord, what we know about circles is if a um, radius or a diameter, so any line that goes through the center intersects a chord uh, at a right angle, it's also a bisector. So that means we know this length here is 8 and this length here is 8. It says express a distance between the centers of the circle. Well, we've got two triangles. The first triangle is this one. And that triangle is a 10 on the hypotenuse, which is that radius, 8, which is half the common chord, and hopefully you recognize this as a 6, 8, 10 right triangle. If you don't recognize the Pythagorean triple, then you can do the Pythagorean theorem to get that that value is 6. The other one, going this direction, is this, using this side, that radius, and then the rest of the chord in between. This is 8, this is 17. Again, they gave you a nice number because 8, 15, and 17 make up a Pythagorean triple. Uh, that's a little less known Pythagorean triple, so you might have had to do the uh, Pythagorean theorem on that one. But 8, 15, 17 is a Pythagorean triple that you should know. So that means this length here is 6, and this length here is 15, and 6 plus 15 is 21, which is the answer to this problem.